you're failing in your leadership, you're lacking in your success department, and the confidence to lead and the confidence to succeed. So the confidence to lead and to have the confidence to succeed is a few different things. It could be your daily habits, it could be your routines, you could be staying up too late at night. So I would really dial in your habits if you want to be more successful, get yourself a mentor, get yourself access to like, I can't tell you how many different courses I went through, how much advice I used to take from the wrong people, and just all to lead to a cumulative knowledge of here I am and here I want to be and what's in the middle. So I was lacking the confidence to lead, meaning I would go talk to companies and I would I'd be like, yeah, I, I, I'm in school, I kind of do this, I'm gonna be starting a business. I was telling them everything I was going to do and never taking action and realizing that I wasn't taking action in the gym, I wasn't taking action in my personal life, and I wasn't taking action building out my portfolio starting. So, meaning, I wasn't gaining the confidence I was able to have to one, be a leader, and two, to be able to like just lead in order to help people succeed. Meaning um, when they had a question, I didn't just answer it if I didn't know it. I would say, hey, you know what? Honestly, that is a great question. And let me bounce it off some of my people and I will get back to you with a really quick response. Type of leadership skills like that is necessary, especially when you're approaching business owners that want their time and their money back. Okay, so in order to be exactly dialed in, it's not like, oh my goodness, like I failed at getting up at 5 a.m. I failed at getting up at 6 a.m. or whatever you have set for yourself you know, does not mean a failure. It's it's failure if you let it take it take you out over a long period of time. Meaning just because you fell short on some of your new habits does not mean you're a failure. Just because you got a few no's in the beginning does not mean you're a failure. Does it maybe hurt for your confidence? Yes, but to know to stay stuck in that would be to stay stuck where you're at. And to actually gain confidence would be to uh, keep getting those no's and expect the no's are coming. Because I've had a lot of no's working with my creative agency, Anthony Scott Digital, in order to finally be like successful and to finally know what works for companies, to know how to help service-based businesses, you know, to really help them sell more. What is it gonna take? What do their customers need to see? Who are their customers? Where are they hanging out online? What would be the best forms of reaching them? All this comes with a little bit of practice in working with your clients. So the confidence to lead and succeed would be if I wanna be able to help a business owner, lead them and succeed at the same time, what needs to be going on in my life? Okay, so one, I need to have the experience, I need to have the skill set. I need to have the know-how and then I need to be able to speak with conviction and let them know like, yes, this is what we're seeing. This is what works. I've looked at your competitors and your, your, your other, your past track record of success. I've looked in to see what your other people in your industry are doing. And it's always comes to this. For my company, I have been able to lead and succeed by seeing what other people are doing and it's, it's all done in a quick competitive analysis, all done in like 15 minutes looking up online their, their top three, four competitors and just seeing what they're doing, you know, like what they're posting, where they're at online, where they're not, what their website says, how they're, you know, bringing people in, what their ads might say, what their content is, and then capitalizing on what they're not doing. This has been able to make me bigger deals with companies, okay? So this has been able to be attributed to $10,000, $15,000 deals, to even bigger deals to where it leads into a year high ticket service to where it's like, okay, great. Now, some clients, they may only need the leadership once a quarter. So you're coming in, you're prepping them, you're saying, hey, this is what's going on. This is what we recommend. And we're doing this all based off of data-driven decisions, but we're also realizing the trend is everybody's going this way and why, yes, this is like maybe for content-wise, maybe yes, this is good to have, but here's how we're gonna be different and win more on the top, okay? And it does come with consistency, but then you know to really be able to lead and succeed like that is to be able to speak clearly, to have, to have the knowledge, to have the experience, and oh my gosh, if you're right here, How do I get to here? 
if it's the fitness industry you want to work with, if it's if you want to work with boutiques, if you want to work with um, service-based businesses that sell over a thousand dollars per transaction. So uh, obviously, any service that sells over five hundred to a thousand, or or um, any business that that you see, you know, is good for you because, like, hey, like you want to work with gyms because you know you love working out every chance you get or you want to work in the construction trade because you did this but now you're such a you're such a good marketer that you see the gaps in other businesses and how they're failing and falling short how they're not one being engaging two helping the community and three just doing everything right you can make those accurate action steps to business owners during these meetings so um, how that works is you know, for me to be able to gain that confidence to lead and succeed was always by giving a company a free audit. You know, I couldn't stress this enough that, and I wouldn't just say it's a free audit because that's boring. I positioned it differently. I said, hey, let's have a free opportunity spotting session. Let me show you what we've done for our clients and let me show you how we can be different and win more for your brand or business. And that has worked um, for me in any service-based business that I've worked in because a service-based business, it is a great model to get into. Now, obviously we're not in the rescue business of working with business owners who are motivated two days a week, but then the rest of the weekend they're out partying or they're out, you know, I get it. Some businesses can run like that, that's fine. But I'm saying as a startup, like if they are very new to market, and they've had some early on success, you know, it might be like, hey, I'm also seeing a need for you to dial it in a little bit more. And who would think you could ever give a millionaire or a six figure business owner that type of advice, but that is the type of stuff that comes through. It's like, hey, you know, when you pay for our services, we work with you, you know? I mean, technically, yes, you do work for them, but we work with you. It is a together approach. And because of that, it has helped us lead and help other companies succeed. And and as tacky as that may sound, it is the truth. By calling out your bullshit, and by actually looking at what I think is crap in the market, you know, for their industry, it's it's like, hey, everybody's doing this, or everybody's using stock content, or everybody just seems too impersonal online when really they have a great almost hero type of job that restores hope in the community that helps them through every step of the process, whether you're buying a roof, whether you're paving a driveway, whether you're you're um, remodeling a kitchen bath, you know, there's all sorts of ways that you can be different and win more and companies will pay you a lot of money to get in there and make these deals and to be serious and to be succinct and to just really help them every step of the way, but to realize like, hey, like here's our list of services, here's what a relationship looks like with us for the year, Here's what we've done for other companies and here's what we want to do for you. Now, you don't have to worry about playing yourself out because if the business owner were to be like, we'll tell you what, that's great. I like your vision for my company, but we need this. And because of that, you're at a disconnect. So in order to avoid that disconnect, if you're like, you know, doing a a free opportunity spotting session, as I like to call them, it's just a different way to rebrand the same thing, but to give them like the, the hard hitting facts of you've built something amazing. We want to capitalize on that. And this is how, but in order to get away from that disconnect, it's generally, okay, you know, instead of hiring an employee that you have to train on what moves the needle in your business, we've been moving the needle. We just need to know in which direction are we going? Are we going for more people? Are we going for selling out your services? Because I'll tell you what, there's not going to be too many different crazy goals in a business. The easier it is, the simpler it is. You know, um, the harder you make stuff, the harder it is going to be to get a sale. So just by generally saying like, we know what works. We do have a recommendation for you. However, you know, before you go compile this huge thing, that is why it is so important to know which way they want to guide their business. Because every business owner may have some limiting beliefs that you you may need to either get over or help them through you know it's like and and if you feel it's a completely horrible recommendation you can help them reach this consistently for six months do you feel like we wouldn't sell out your services do you feel like we would be offsetting our cost if not in the green 
um, at, the, at the cost of working with us? And then what's the lifetime value of even doing a year deal with us? Because, you know, at a year, we like to come in and, and give our recommendations quarterly. We like to, then we like to go ahead and take the, our own advice from, you know, our meetings and say, okay, well now we practice what we preach. So we're going to go ahead and start implementing and we're going to be reporting on ourselves. And we say, hey, look, like what we're doing for your company at it, to what you're already doing. Unless you see some areas where they're completely falling short, that is a great way to just capitalize, say, okay, actually, I feel this needs to go because X, Y, Z, and we know this works over here. We're gonna stop doing this over here because everybody's doing this. We'll just do it like, you know, once a week, but we're really gonna focus and grow out this consistently. And if you do that for a year and you stay consistent with the company, they are going to rehire you. Now, great. That, that is amazing that that is like, let's say, you know, we're talking about a $50,000 pitch right here, you know, or we're talking about a $50,000 contract or $30,000 contract, right? Um, which is not crazy because it's like, okay, you know, I understand we're new. We haven't worked together before. We're going to give you a new obligation to resign with us, you know, because we want to make it as hassle free as possible. But how do we get the money from you every six months? Because I'll tell you what, you know, you keep it old school and just write our business a check. Um, for the first six months, pay up front, and we can go every six months if that makes it easier. Now, some people will realize how honest you're, you're being and how well you're leading that they will, will help you succeed by writing you a check, you know, for that six months up front. And now imagine if you went and you're like, okay, cool, like, I just made $25,000, you know, and now let's say you go do that five more times, okay? You know, and now now you're helping five companies, you know, and at what point are you like, okay, cool. Now I can bring in somebody to help me go around and do content. I can give them, uh, I can give them a plan to post. I can give them a plan for ad management and I can really start growing this. And if, if this is all the type of results you want, but you fail the lack of leadership or you fail the lack of, like you feel like success is not about you. I'm telling you, there is so much money out there for you guys to literally go out there and crush it that all you need to do is is knock out a few things in your personal life and just start hitting it hard okay um i would say fail quick but learn from it you know because that has always been also like if i didn't learn from my failures i would still be running a company where i would want to do a bunch of one-offs you know i would have never came from the from the growth area of creating this course that i have you know, called basic to boss, which doesn't matter if you buy it or not, but it, it is to your success. It is to your complete benefit. It is what the marketplace didn't have. And because it didn't have that, um, I've been able to, even on the low end, you know, at a pitch, like, let's say if I can't sell a 30, 40, $50,000 deal, I can at least get their business, you know, for a thousand to $3,000. I can say, look, you can just have access to this and hopefully train an employee. It's nine ninety seven. It's literally less the cost than rent per month. It's, you know, and if we broke it down per week um, or, you know, if we minimized it any other way, it is literally going to save you years off the learning curve. It is literally going to fast track your success. It is built out of a place of nothing but growth and, and everything that I've helped with other successful six and seven figure businesses either help develop or help dive into deeper and really develop like a success plan and in order to do that it did take me failure it did take me you know lack of confidence and leadership in order to able to finally realize what i was messing up my personal habits um you know i i'd fell short on maybe you know the way i was eating or i was i was eating in the middle of the night before bed stuff that was making me feel like crap the next day or i wasn't working out enough or maybe i was sitting too long and i wasn't getting up and just walking around a little bit and having better circulation you know so just little things that you can pull out of your life you know and as far as like i mean you could drive this all the way down to people you know how many people do you feel you could benefit from having less points of contact or that you feel they push your personal boundaries. So in order for you to lead and succeed, you do want to remove that from your life. You do want to start working on your personal habits. You do want to start doing some of these services for either free or a reduced fee, which literally is a thing that I made up myself. <laughs> you know, three for free or three for a reduced fee. You know, it sounds so cliche, but it was so good when I developed that, that it had actually realized that I was 
I was what I was telling people I was doing. And, and, and once I became aware of it, I was like, oh, my gosh. And that is just one thing in basic to boss that you're just going to have these aha moments and you're just going to be able to connect and you're just going to be able to go out there and either start that creative agency, start that marketing agency, start that social media agency, or even your, your service-based business. Or maybe you are an existing business owner and you are going to go out and you are going to use this training to crush it or you're going to give it to an employee or you're going to go through it, then you're going to give it to an employee and you're going to know what they're now capable of. Because it is a lethal blow. It is like having a digital hit squad. It is just, I just can't say it enough. But in the order to lead to succeed and to be able to even to build that program that I did, to be able to build out and figure out how to sell my services better and how to, yes, they are high ticket services, you know, but I feel like better is better. Okay, they say iron sharpens iron, you know, and like you hear this stuff all the time, right? But when you stop and think about it, if you could have better, would you? And if it was just a cost to enter something like that, that would save years right here versus you could learn it in a few months and have it start paying you off now. I mean, it is just, it is what I didn't have when I was in college and that is why I'm so passionate in helping people. I even created a private group for you guys to get into where I can help a little bit for free, you know, um, but then a paid group for, for students that really want this life change and for people that really, you know, existing service-based businesses, existing businesses that just want to dominate and just want to have more sales. And, you know, when I, when I say don't compete, dominate, I really feel like, you know, it should be don't compete, be consistent. Um, because for some business owners that I've had a rebuttal on that, or I've had a negative reaction, they're like, whoa, like that's just too much testosterone in my business. Like, bro, you're, <laughs> you're doing too much. And it's like, well, just think about it like this, you know, cause at the end of the day, we are being more consistent and, and that just comes, you know, as an equal balance. And as a result of that, you do end up dominating and there's a whole plan in there. There's everything that lays it out and just helps you be completely absolutely lethal and that is a great way to also to tell you that this wouldn't have been possible had I not failed you know but I feel like I can help so many other people lead and be successful if they just have access to one entrepreneurship to high income skill training which I learned over years which I didn't even learn in college which I did start learning in college though and they did provide you don't need college to be successful but I'll tell you what they did provide a great opportunity you know and I am forever thankful for that but it is not the reason for me having any type of extra success. They didn't put me in a network of millionaires that just catapulted my career. Because I tell you what, if I would have had that opportunity too early to my skill set or, or, or the knowledge I learned um, by failure, which all which I have put in for you guys to fast track your success in a short amount of time, it is literally, I would have failed had I not known what I know now. But now... I, you know, I say it took eight months, it probably took a year, and then it took additionally so long because the, the course, it, it is so much value in 13, 14 hours. Like it is just, it is a lethal blow to the market. And once people realize like how much I care about you, your personal leadership, your personal success, and how I've done this all for myself, and which now to a point where, yes, it doesn't matter if I have zero course sales ever. The point is, is that it, the access to entrepreneurship, the access to high income skill sets, and, and, and the comfortability to be able to just be like, you know, all right, cool. If I just sit down and I take this course, I can do it. And it's not just if you were to sit down and do that. I mean, if you were able to be, be consistent over the next year, you, you may not even need, need a course like that. But do you want to, knowing your track record, would you be willing to let another year go by? And at that point, I realized that, holy crap, the details matter. And if I don't start leading right now, if I don't start helping other business succeed right now, my creative agency, Anthony Scott Digital, wouldn't be where it's at today. And as that also continues to grow, it just, it feels so good to be able to help other people. And the fact that once people know that you actually care and that you're in it, you're not just like starting a creative agency or a service-based business that sells 500 to 1,000 um, services or more to just exit the business fast and it's a cash grab. Once they know you actually care and you're dedicated and I do find that easier. I do personally, I don't like to work with corporate companies. I just like to go out and crush it and work with self-made business owners 
who have really dedicated their time into honing their craft and they are the professional in their field. And then I take what I do and I know what works. And then I say, hey, like I said, guys, you know, I know how to move the needle in your business. All I need you to do is point at the goal and I already know how to go. So guys, I really hope this helped you dial in your habits, really check your mindset, really figure out you need access to high income skill training, but not only that, to really have access to entrepreneurship, to really have better um, control over your habits and to really do this with a lot of care and abundance so you can get there, so you can be able to to walk in there and be like, look, hey, honestly, what you need is a $60,000 a year employee. You know, but I'll tell you what, we'll work with your company for $40,000, but because we do know, you know, if we are hitting your goals and exceeding them, let's have a performance review at the end of the year because if we have the right to earn an additional $25,000, that's gonna keep everybody hungry. And even if I were to make $5,000 of that extra money, wouldn't you say, wouldn't you say we have had success? And that is the way I wanna help you guys lead and succeed more by just getting out there, getting your experiences and get dialed in guys. Thank you.